वेलकम टू आईसीएससी क्लास टेंथ केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर एट स्टडी ऑफ कंपाउंड हाइड्रोजन क्लोराइड पार्ट टू नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर हाइड्रो हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड फ्रॉम हाइड्रोजन क्लोराइड गैस व्हेन हाइड्रोजन क्लोराइड गैस इज डिजोल्व इन वाटर हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड इज फॉर्म्ड नाउ लेट अस प्रिपेयर हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड इन लेबोरेटरी earlier in part 1 we have prepared hydrogen chloride gas see the apparatus arrangement here in the round bottom flask nacl was taken and through the thistle funnel sulfuric acid added and in the bulk bottle the hydrogen chloride gas which is produced is collected by downward delivery and in in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid acid so that we can get a dry hydrogen chloride gas this hydrogen chloride gas which is passed through this delivery tube now we are going to convert this hydrogen chloride gas to hydrochloric acid to convert hydrogen chloride gas to hydrochloric acid see this apparatus arrangement here we are using the funnel and this inverted funnel is just in touch with the water in this beaker there is a water now come to this side now that this dry hydrogen gas which is coming through the delivery tube it enters the funnel which is just touches the water level which is taken in this trough hydrogen chloride gas is highly soluble in water the water rises up in the funnel and what will happen then when this hydrogen chloride gas which touches the water this hydrogen gas being highly soluble will get dissolved in this water and hydrogen chloride gas get converted to hydrochloric acid during this process there occur a back suction back suction means the water will rise up the level outside the funnel falls outside the funnel the level falls and there is a gap will create between the funnel and the water so this air gap will created now outside pressure will equal to the inside outside pressure will equal to the inside pressure then what will happen the water which is which has risen in the funnel which has risen up in this funnel will falls down so this process will continue this process will continue till the water in the trough is saturated with hydrochloride gas hence hydrogen hydrochloric acid is formed in this beaker and to minimize this back suction only we have used this funnel arrangement if suppose if suppose this gas is collected simply by the delivery tube and this is a very very narrow outcome so when this hydrogen chloride gas will dissolve in water there will be a back suction so to prevent this back suction only we are using this funnel arrangement so when we use this funnel arrangement it provides a large surface area for the absorption of hydrochloric chloride gas so we can get hydrochloric acid from hydrogen chloride gas now let us do chemical properties of hydrochloric acid first reaction is action of hydrochloric acid on metals here i'm taking metals like calcium magnesium zinc one reaction i did that is when hydrochloric acid reacts with calcium you see it will form calcium chloride and hydrogen gas will evolve that is whenever a metal react with hydrochloric acid it will form metallic chloride and the hydrogen gas will evolve so the question can be what will happen when hydrogen chloric acid is added to metal it will form hydro hydrogen gas similarly the action of hydrochloric acid on oxides like i have taken example magnesium oxide when hydrochloric acid is added to magnesium oxide it will form metallic chloride that is magnesium chloride and this time the water will form so when simply metal is there and hydrochloric acid is added here hydrogen gas is evolved when metallic oxide is there then water is formed 
nouns you can practice other equation by taking other examples also like calcium ex, uh, oxide and others now the action on hydroxide like sodium hydroxide when hydrochloric acid is added to metallic hydroxide like i have taken sodium hydroxide it will form metallic chloride and water so in both the cases whether it is ox metallic oxide or metallic hydroxide the product will be metallic chloride and water formation is there now the action of hydrochloric acid on salts of weaker acid weaker acids like sodium carbonate calcium carbonate sodium hydrogen carbonate calcium hydrogen carbonate few equations i have done this you can do it yourself just i am showing you so when hydrochloric acid is added to metallic carbonate it will form metallic chloride water plus there is a formation of carbon dioxide gas so sometimes the question is name the gas evolved when hydrochloric acid is added to metallic carbonate so the observation is carbon dioxide gas formation is there similarly you can do with sodium hydrogen carbonate calcium hydrogen carbonate so the result is the product is metallic chloride water and carbon dioxide some more weaker salts like sodium sulfite concentrate on the formulas the main thing is you have to practice the formulas that is sodium sulfite sodium hydrogen sulfite sodium sulfite this is sulfite this is sulfide sulfite is na2so3 and sodium sulfide is na2s please focus on these formulas chemical formulas so when hydrogen chloric acid is added what will happen it will form again metallic chloride plus water and this time sulfur dioxide gas will released please focus all these things that is which gas is evolved when hydrochloric acid is added so see the difference between that is sodium carbonate sodium hydrogen carbonate sodium sulfite sodium sulfide do practice this equation in your notebook like these two i have left these equations you just to practice in your notebook next is the precipitation reaction when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to like lead nitrate or mercury nitrate what will happen here the observation is white precipitation will occur that is this is a precipitation reaction especially when hydrochloric acid is added to lead nitrate mercury nitrate the observation is metallic chloride plus nitric acid and observation is white ppt but when this hydrochloric acid is added to silver nitrate then the precipitation will be white curdy it will be curdy white ppt here the difference only difference is here the white ppt but when it is added to silver nitrate then curdy white ppt will form so rest this equation uh, you can complete it yourself now the next chemical properties of hydrochloric acid that is oxidation of hydrochloric acid when had concentrated hydrochloric acid is added to any oxidizing agent oxidizing agent like manganese oxide lead oxide or lead dioxide when concentrated hydrochloric acid is added we get metallic chloride water and chlorine gas will formed so main observation here is the formation of chlorine gas when concentrated hydrochloric acid is added to any oxidizing agent and you should learn these oxidizing agent example manganese oxide lead oxide lead dioxide etc now the same oxidation reaction when this hydrochloric concentrated hydrochloric acid is added to potassium permanganate do focus on the formulas potassium permanganate bleaching powder see the difference here when it is added to potassium permanganate you will get manganese chloride potassium chloride water and the chlorine gas and when it is added to bleaching powder you get metallic chloride that is calcium chloride 
water and chlorine gas and for the uses and the test of hydrochloric acid and hydrogen chloride gas kindly read your book page number 155 that is selena concise chemistry page number 155 chapter 8 study of compound hydrogen chloride